My first deployment was to Iraq. I was a combat engineer. And instead of sending a dog into a building to, to search for booby traps, the infantry team just ran inside and got blown up. We had to pick up chunks of wall to recover the bodies of three soldiers that went in there. I still have that image in front of me. But after that, I didn't want to do anything else. I work a dog. What we're training here are combat dog teams. We're trying to train them to the best of our abilities to be able to go out and to support uh, conventional and unconventional military. My biggest fear would be not finding something and it's right there. And then find out that someone was on that same route, that same area, and got killed. Because I've been blown up. I've seen people blown up. I've seen people die from them. So I have no hesitations going out to find IEDs whatsoever. Is he hit? Bombs, death surrounds them. And in the middle of this is this powerful bond. What we've got is the militarization of love. That friendship, that bond in his eyes was more than I could have ever ask for. Right then I knew that dog will give his life for me. Rad one, welcome back. It's good to have the answer dog back with you. Imagine the trauma that these dogs feel. They come home and they're ripped apart from the one stable being in their lives. You know, everybody says you don't forget your first love. Well, you will never forget your first dog or your last. You're going to remember all of them.